We're definitely gonna need these sunglasses for this cool model horse. Hey there, it's DJB. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Darren, and this is an unboxing. I think I did this in a video quite some time ago. In that video, it was titled Holy Grail Unboxing of some sort. The sunglasses are obviously because the sunglasses match my shirt, and because today is not just any video. Today is a Holy Grail unboxing. And this video is another holy grail unboxing, but this is like the holy grail of all holy grails. So I thought I should wear sunglasses. This is the box. It's an Ariat box. Do you know that Ariat, I like recently learned this. This is really interesting. This is the end of Secretariat, three horseshoes, the triple crown. Anyway, this is the holiest holy grail of my collection. I've wanted this horse since it came out in 2012 and it has taken me until 2024 to find it. I paid way too much for this. This is the most expensive briar I've ever bought, but I thought sometimes you just gotta live for the now. I've had a lot of stuff happen recently that have really like made me reflect on life and you gotta live for the now. Buy the horse, do the thing, live life. Plastic bags. Everybody's favorite packing material. In Canada, they don't give you these anymore. <laughs> Here it is, a horse so cool you have to wear sunglasses to open it. It's also quite rare, actually. She did a good job, this is like very discreet. Can you tell what it is? My worst fear is getting one of these and it being the wrong horse. Ooh, he came with Nan cards. She named him Fidget. I'm gonna keep that. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! This is a very rare Stoneleigh surprise. He was from Briarfest 2012. He was the surprise horse. I have this one, who was another variation, but he was way more common. But this one was very rare and very hard to find, and obviously I wanted it because Leopard Appaloosa and Flash is one of my favorite molds. I had a lady on Instagram, she wanted to sell me one. Oh my god, why you gotta be like this? That's my printer. It does this every couple hours. So I had a lady on Instagram. She reached out. Okay, so I didn't explain the context of this. This was a different model that I found probably five or six years ago online and was selling this particular horse and she only wanted $375 for it. At the time that felt like a lot of money for me. I said no. Since then I've seen this horse sell for thousands of dollars online. And then this was a second one that I found online. I tried to convince the lady to sell it to me. I offered my entire custom collection plus cash to try and convince her to sell me this horse and she was like, eh. I decided I didn't want to sell it, but her price to me was $2,500. I said, absolutely not, I'll never spend that much on a model. So this guy, I was in a bit of a bidding war with one other person, but I did not pay $2,500. I did not pay $300. I'll let you presume how much I paid. I'm not gonna tell you. Doesn't matter. He just immediately brought me so much joy. I'm so excited to have him. I'm gonna be so excited to show him. Thank you so much for watching. Happy collecting.